Hello everybody, welcome back to day two of Android Kotlin Bootcamp. So I wanna do, I wanna show some other stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And if you haven't seen my previous video, the previous video from yesterday, you might wanna go back and check that out. So um, there are a lot of convenience features in Kotlin. So for example, say you wanted to create an array list of, say a list of just emails or just whatever you want. Um, we'll get into loops in just a second, but there, there are some easy ways to create arrays of stuff. So um, we've before in the previous few video, we looked at stuff like val first name equals equals Daniel, um, and then var last name equals Malone. So we kind of talked a little bit about what you can change and what you can't change. For example, first name, if I try to make that Mel, that's not gonna work because it has val and not var. But if you look at last name, we can change that. So we can change it to Smith and it's not gonna give us a problem. So, um, so that's giving us an error because it's not used. But basically, if we if we make it var, we can we could we can change it lots of times. We could change it, you know, to one, to four, to five. We can do all kinds of changes there. But uh, what I want to do is I want to just quickly go over. Uh, maybe this might be a little bit helpful. Uh, maybe you maybe you are creating a list of something. I don't know. But let's just get started. So um, we can create a variable. We'll call it emails. And you might in Java, if you're coming from Java, you're probably used to like array list, string, and you do all that kind of stuff. In Kotlin, we can easily do we can easily do this. We can do array list of, and it's gonna expect a type there, but I'm gonna just get rid of that. And it's giving me an error. But what we can do is we can put in um, values. So say, so if you if we actually look at Android Studio, the ID is telling us, hey, it's an array list of integers. Um, so we can add a list, maybe a list of favorite IDs or favorite uh, user IDs, maybe. So you have a thousand users, you know, this user is, uh, that's their ID, and you have a really big site, so that's, you know, a big number for their ID. But we can also, but it's important to know, we can't really, so say I were to uh, do something like that, well, it's not gonna, let, let's just change it up, let's, let's do, um, let's do strings, for example. So email number one, um, how are you, uh, hello world, and then we'll do one more, we'll just call this, um, what should we call this? What, what, is, what does email get? Twitter alerts. So whatever. Okay, cool. So we have our variables there, and another way of displaying it so it's a little bit easier is like this. So you, what you actually notice is, uh, what did I mess up? Oh yeah, here we go. Forgot that one. So we actually have a list. So that's that's our first item. That's our second item. That's our third item. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the spacing. White space does not matter here. Um, it's going past the line, but um, that, that that wouldn't get past the code review maybe. Uh, so let's do this. We actually want to. So I still have the emulator open up here. And so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and do this. Let's just uh, loop through the emails and print it out to the log cat at the bottom. So what we can do is emails dot for each and what we can actually and there there are a number of them for each there they're basically all for now all you want is that one um and it's actually messed that up a little bit and and we may get into other stuff later but for now this will work so we have so it's basically going to say hey we have one two three emails so the, say these are like subject lines or whatever so it's going to come down here and say hey for each email I want you to do this for each email. And it gives us a variable here called it, and it's of type string, so let's do this. Let's do d, that's kind of like your standard log.d in Java. So we can just do d, Daniel, we'll call the tag, or we'll call the tag um, testing, and then we'll put the value of in for each. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and you can either click that button, uh, the play button right there, or you can do the keyboard shortcut, which I usually just use the keyboard shortcut, control, control R on Mac, and I'm gonna open back up the emulator. And nothing changed there, but if we go back to our log cat and I get rid of that, we should, what do we call them? Testing. We can actually search for testing. And it says, hey, we're in, is this right? Is that right? One, two, we're actually in, um, we're in four each. So let's let's do this. Uh, let's do, um, 
a dollar sign i. We'll put a space there, we'll do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and see what happens. And I messed something up, what's wrong? Oh, it's, sorry, it's not I, it's it, there we go, okay, cool. So just, just I is for uh, common and loops, so I got confused a little bit. So here we are, so um, it says, you know, testing in for each, which is which matches up in right there, so in for each, so there it is, in for each and in for each, but you'll notice that for this dollar sign it, it's actually, it's actually going through each email, so that's number one, that's number two, and that's number three. And if you come down to here, sure enough, yeah, we have one there, uh, Hello World and Twitter Twitter alerts. So this is kind of cool. Um, so what else can we do? So uh, let's, so I'll just, uh, no, I bet I'll keep that in for now. But a lot of times, coming from Java, you might do something like um, private string first uh, do my name equals Daniel. That's kind of common. Uh, then a lot of times what you do is you do um, you'd come down into your on create or something and you do if and you do if uh, my name doesn't equal null so say, I'll go ahead and do this in the Kotlin way so let's do that let's do val my name equals Daniel okay cool now if you come down here but notice we get a little error like we had earlier which when yesterday when we were doing our I forget what we were doing, but we kind of used, oh yeah, for, for variables. But it's giving us a condition saying it's always true. So what does that mean? In Kotlin, there's actually nothing is null. So there are other methods like, so say you want to do not, and if you, if you just put my name, uh, then a dot, we can do something like em, uh, is empty, or if it's not empty. But it's important to note that my name so the variable my name will never be null so you'll never you'll never need to do if um, my name doesn't equal null that's that's pretty much gone however not to get not to confuse you but we could do string then I think we can make that nullable so the question mark just means that it can be null, but I, I don't want to confuse you, so get rid of that. So my name, so there we go. So 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 you don't have to do null check any null checks anymore unless you specifically say that, hey, this value this value of my name could be null. So sometimes uh, in Java it could be it could be null, um, and so yeah, not to be too confusing. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, so we, we looked at if, I uh, haven't really looked at if statements, but hopefully if you have, you kind of know what they are. But let's do this, let's do let's do loops. So in Kotlin there's some cool loop stuff we can do. So if we come inside of our, if we come inside of our onCreate here, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do, let's do four, uh, then we have i in zero dot dot 100. What is what exactly does this do? So a lot of times when I'm debugging, I'll put debug statements or log statements. So let's see. So D Dan, and that's the equivalent of going log dot D again. So D, and then we'll call this testing. And then we'll do um, what should we? We'll do in for loop. So I'm going to go ahead and run that in the emulator, and the emulator should open up, and it's not going to change in the emulator, but. Did we do that right? Testing. We're not. It's uh, what's going on here. So what, what it's going to do is basically going to say, "Hey, anything will go from zero to one hundred, and every every time we do that, we're gonna we're gonna put a message in the. Uh, I'm gonna run it one more time. So let's see what's going on here. And here, let's do this. Let's do something else. We can also print the i so it'll say say what number it is so zero starts at zero goes up to uh zero and goes up to, or we could put any number there really say let's just put 10 there for example and so if i go ahead and run that and then we can search for is it the right emulator testing so here we go so we see that we have in loop one in loop two in loop three in loop four and so you notice that all of this code here, let's go ahead and put it up to 40. So I'm gonna run it one more time and let's see what happens. You might be able to guess what happens, 
But you notice, see we have all of this in for loop, which comes in right there. That's a statement that I put. But the only thing that changes is just the variable. So we have one, two, three. So what's going on here? So loops basically says, hey, let's let, instead of having to write this out tons of times, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna write it one time, and then the part that changes, we'll use the dollar sign i to say, hey, we wanna put just the ch part that changes there. So that way, instead of having to do this 100 times, we can say, hey, just do it 40 times, or 400 times, or 400, you, you can do it however many times you wanna do it. So we, that's an easy way to print stuff out to the log, that's, that's helpful for testing. Um, but you can use you can use it for all kinds of things. You could like um, add user to list list, and you could pass in a user. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff with loops. So loops are very powerful, and that's kind of all I wanted to get in this uh, thing for today. So I did. Hopefully you saw the one from the, yeah, the Kotlin bootcamp from yesterday. If you had any questions, just leave a comment, and also. Um, if you have any questions about this video, leave a comment and I'll try to respond. I'm kind of busy, so I don't can't always respond, but if, I'll do my best to respond if I can. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you tomorrow.